In this lecture, I will show you how to draw the flying bird on canvas, apply gravity and interact via touch. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to do this. Open Android Studio. We will create a frame by frame animation for the bird. In frame by frame animation, we will be changing frames repeatedly so that it appears continuous to the human eye and we feel that it is animated. A frame is referred to an image. So to implement this type of animation, one needs to have a set of images which describe a motion. For our game, I have four bird frames. Let me copy and paste these bird frames in my drawable folder. Next, go to bitmap bank and declare an array of bitmap. Bitmap, open close brackets, bird, initialize the array in constructor, bird equals to new bitmap. Four bar zero equals to bitmap factory dot decode resource res comma r dot drawable dot bart underscore frame one Next, we will define some getter methods. Public bitmap get bird. int frame return bard frame public int get bard with return part 0 dot get with public int get bird height return bar 0 dot get height next we will define the bar class that will keep track of x y coordinates current frame etc right click on the package and create a java class name it bar
generate the constructor public bird in the class scope declare the following variables private int bard x bard y current frame public static int max frame initialize in constructor keeping in mind that the bard will be positioned at the center of the screen horizontally and vertically bard x equals to app constants dot screen underscore width divided by 2 minus app constants dot get bitmap bank dot get bard width divided by 2 bard y equals to app constants dot screen underscore height divided by 2 minus app constants dot get bitmap bank dot get bard height divided by 2 current frame equals to 0 and max frame should be 3 next we will write some getter and setter methods public int get current frame return current frame public public int get x return bard x public int get y return bard y public void set x int bard x
this dot bar x calls to bar x public void set y int bar y this dot bar y equals to bar y next go to game engine and declare an object of part bird bird instantiate in constructor bird equals to new bird then we will write the method in game engine for updating and drawing the bird we will first get the current frame from bird object and call draw bitmap method on canvas then we will increment the frame and if it exceeds the max frame we reinitialize it to zero let's write the code public void update and draw bird canvas canvas int current frame equals to bird dot get current frame canvas dot draw bitmap for bitmap use app constants dot get bitmap bank dot get bard current frame for left use bird dot get x for top use bird dot get y and we don't need a paint object that's why use null increment the current frame current frame plus plus if current frame greater than bird dot max frame current frame equals to zero bird dot set current frame current frame next go to game thread and call this method inside the synchronized block app constants dot 
get game engine dot update and draw board canvas run the app Brilliant. Next, we will introduce gravity in our game. Go to app constants and declare static int gravity initialize in constructor gravity equals to 3. We will add a variable for velocity in BART class and initialize in constructor. Comma velocity. Velocity equals to 0. We will write getter and setter for velocity. Public int get velocity. return velocity public void set velocity int velocity this dot velocity equals to velocity go to game engine inside update and draw bard method we need to check if the y coordinate of the bard is less than screen height minus bard height that is if the bard is inside the screen we will add gravity with its velocity and set y coordinate with its velocity. Write if bird dot get y less than app constants dot screen underscore height minus app constants dot get bitmap bank dot get bad height Bard dot set velocity Bard dot get velocity plus app constants dot gravity Bard dot set y Bard dot get y plus Bard dot get velocity.
So for the first call velocity is 0, gravity is 3, current velocity is 0 plus 3 equals to 3. We will set the y coordinate with 3. In the next call velocity is 3, gravity is 3, current velocity is 3 plus 3 that is 6. We will set y coordinate with 6. This way the displacement in y direction gets increased per amount of time and we see a gravity pull on the part. Run the app. As you can see gravity is working but we need a mechanism that the gravity only starts acting once we tap on the screen to start the game. Tap should also give the bird some upward shift or jump. We need to define number 1 an integer variable in game engine for storing game state number 2 an integer constant velocity underscore when underscore jumped for the amount of upward shift. Let's do that. Go to game engine and declare static int game state initialize in constructor game state calls to 0. Put the first if condition inside update and draw bar in another if. If game state double equals to 1 Next go to app constants and declare static int velocity when jumped initialize inside initialization app constants dot velocity underscore wind underscore jumped equals to minus 40 change it to app constants dot gravity next inside game view we need to overwrite on touch event to detect motion event on the screen like tap or press on the screen right on touch event int action equals to event dot get action if action double equals to motion event dot action underscore down app constants dot get game engine dot game state 
equals to 1 app constants dot get game engine dot bird dot set velocity app constants dot velocity when jumped return true run the app excellent now our bird responds to touch but we have one issue when bird y is greater than or equal to screen height minus bird height that is when the bird touches the bottom edge of the screen we are not able to move it up can you fix that pause the video now welcome back i hope you have managed that as well when the bird touches the bottom edge of the screen the inner if condition gets false and hence the set velocity or the set y method don't get called but by adding this in the if statement we can fix that or bird dot get velocity less than zero run the app once again fantastic I hope you enjoyed this lecture and learned few new things from it. Next, I will show you how to draw a few sets of tubes which randomly appear from right to left with random positions and reappear again and again.